Dear parents and students, welcome back to another video in Test Prep Card channel. I believe all of you are doing great and staying safe. So what we are going to do in today's video, we are going to cover a very important piece of information, right? That is about the complete information on the eligibility criteria of BITS Dubai campus. All right. Now many students are targeting BITS Dubai campus, maybe this year or probably in the coming years. So they should know. They should know that what are the eligibility criteria. All right. Now, basically, what happens in Bits Dubai campus is that it offers three types of major major courses. Okay. Now, if I talk about the three major main programs, these are first degree programs, higher degree programs, and doctoral programs. So, what I'll do at this point of time is that I'll go to each of these programs and then explain the eligibility criteria. All right. So, this video is going to be very informative. Just a small request: please don't put your phone down. Keep watching till the end. You will really enjoy. All right, so let's start this video. Okay, so let's start with the first degree program. Now, first degree programs are actually the bachelor programs. Okay, now you can see in the bachelors there are these courses that are being offered, like BE in chemical engineering, BE in civil engineering, BE in electrical and electronics engineering, BE in mechanical engineering. BE in computer science, which is a reputed course in here, BE in biotechnology, and BE in electronics and communication engineering. So these are the specialization in which you can do your graduation. All right. Now let's move on to the eligibility criteria of the first degree programs. So these are actually the bachelor courses, right? So you need to qualify your class twelve with at least sixty percent of marks, right? At least sixty percent of marks overall, or at least fifty percent of marks in physics, chemistry, and mathematics if you are targeting. Science courses which are just away from biology. If you're targeting biotechnology, right? Like BE in biotechnology. So in that case, maths will be removed, and in that place, biology will come, right? So if I just read it aloud, it says that candidates must have passed the requested qualifying examination, which is the General Secondary Education Certificate Examination of Ministry of Education (UAE) or Senior School Certificate Examination of the CBSC, that is Class 12, New Delhi, India Advanced Board. Now, this boards can be of anything, right? This board can be CBSC. This board can be State Board. Even this board can be Edexcel, right? Cambridge. So this can be any board of international or national repute. So just need to abide this thing that, of course, you need to pass that exam with at least 60% overall. Having 60% in physics, chemistry, mathematics, or at least 50% in each subject. Okay. However, as I told, if the student who is targeting BE in biotechnology, then in that case, he or she needs to score a minimum aggregate of 60% in physics, chemistry, and biology with at least 50% marks in each subject. Okay. Now again, now there are many boards in which English is mandatory, or maybe there can be English which is not mandatory. So in that cases, you have to give. Exams, entrance exams to check your English, like TOEFL or IELTS. Again, there are some minimum marks. This is not mandatory. If English is included in your class twelfth, then you are not supposed to do this exams, right? This entrance exam. If English is not included in that particular case, you have to give this TOEFL or IELTS or IMSAT. If I talk about TOEFL, you need to score a minimum of five hundred in paper based test or sixty one in internet based test. Okay. If I talk about IELTS, then you need to score a minimum of five, or a minimum of IMSAT score of eleven hundred to twelve hundred and twenty-five. Okay. Now there can be a cases in which, if the faculty holds it true, they can take some assessment, English assessment test in the campus. Okay. So this is about the eligibility criteria of bachelors. Let's move on. Okay. Before. Moving to the next part, let me just announce a very important part here, which is D A S A C I W G. Okay, now for N R I students, we have prepared our N R I e-books related to D A S A C I W G quota. So you can kindly you can download that PDFs that's e PDF from the link in the description below. All right, let's move on. Let's move on to the next part, which is higher degree program. In the higher degree program, the specializations are M E in designing engineering. ME in electrical engineering, ME in microelectronics, ME in software system, or MBA proper MBA. Okay, so in the higher degree programs, what is the eligibility criteria? You need to score a minimum, a bare minimum of sixty percent in qualifying degree, right? That is the bachelor's, right? Now, if you're targeting, let's say, ME design, then you need to score at least sixty percent in BE, BTEC, or equivalent in mechanical engineering. Okay, if you're targeting ME electronics. Or electrical, then you need to score a minimum of BE or BTEC again 60% in this course. Triple E, ECE or EIE. 
if you're targeting ME in microelectronics, then you need to score again 60%. Agree, at least a 60% in BE, BTEC or equivalent in again triple E, EIE, ECE, CS or MSc in physics. If you're targeting ME in software for system, then you need to score again a 60% in BE, BTEC, MSc, MCA or equivalent. All right. If you're targeting MBA programs, then again, there are no inference. There are no inference that you are supposed to give. No CAT, no GMAT, just direct examination on the basis of your last year degree. That is the graduation degree and there is a minimum criteria of 60%. So if you're targeting MBA program, you need to just score 60% aggregate in BE, BTEC, MBA, that is master, sorry, master's degree in any of the discipline or its equivalent. So this is the eligibility criteria for higher degree program. Again, if English has not been included in the graduation, then you need to give TOEFL, IELTS or IMSAT. That's the criteria remains same. You need to score a minimum of 550 in TOEFL or 210 or 80 that is 210 in computer and 18 internet or islet score of at least six in every section okay now one more thing in the bachelor there was not any interviews being conducted in the masters you need to give interview so candidates who are eligible will be required to take admissions interview you need to face interview the admission will based on the performance of the qualifying degree and admission interview so qualifying degree that's 60 percent plus some weightage for the admission interview now that is not disclosed right that is not disclosed that is kept in house only all right let's move on to the doctoral programs in the doctoral programs that is a doctor of philosophy now what are the specializations? these are actually the specializations of your base area right so topic of research can be chosen from any of the discipline in which the institute offers the first degree higher degree or just like first degree or higher degree essentially right or we call it as a second degree in our language now doctoral programs have two options full time or part time now part time are off campus so there is a different eligibility criteria for the part time students and on the same lines like full time also but in some cases you can be benefited like let me just tell you if i talk about the proper what is the general eligibility criteria for phd you need to qualify me ms mba mphil of bits polani or its equivalent with a minimum of 60 percent aggregate okay now candidates who are applying for the part time should be working in an organization located in the close vicinity of the institute and because this institute encourages the research work, right? So you need to be located yourself nearby the campus that whenever the campus calls you, you find yourself, I mean, at a very good place, right? And of course, you just put emphasis on the research work, right? In order to just move to and fro, that entire thing is taken care of. Also, the candidate must have a minimum of one year experience in related fields, right? Of whichever specialization you have, like physics, chemistry, biology, Right, or electrical or computer, you have to have experience of one year. The admission will be based on the performance in qualifying degree, that is the master's degree and experience and there is an admission test. Right Now admission test, you have to fill the form for the admission test. You have to pay AED 22220, right? And then you can give this exam. Post that, you will be shortlisted right, for the interview. Now, selected candidate will be provisionally admitted and required to clear the PSD qualifying exam. Now, PSD qualifying exam is for only those students who are actually going into the research work. Now, there are many students who are not so interested in the research work. So, for those students, they need not to qualify this PSD qualifying exam, right? For, but for those students who are qualifying, who are just actually looking for the research, they need to just qualify this PhD qualifying examination, right? So, this is just a brief about the eligibility criteria of first degree higher degree and PhD. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, if you have any doubt, any questions, you can ask in the comment section below. Do subscribe our YouTube channel, which is Test Prep Cart and share this video link to as many friends as you can because they can also be benefited and see you in the coming videos. Thank you.